All right, some of you might have lost this and now it's time to find it. This is one of the things that I get when people message me is that they've lost their motivation. And so today I wanna to help you get your motivation back. Now before we go on guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't, and in the comments let me know what keeps you motivated to go to the gym every single day. Put that in the comments right now, just quickly type it. What keeps you motivated to go to the gym? So number one, most people they get busy. Right, And when you get busy, you get disorganized, you feel behind, and as such, one day turns into two, two turns into a week, week turns into a month, and you go without missing the gym. So of course, it's gonna be hard to get your motivation back. Because who wants, who feels motivated to go back to the gym when they've been so busy this entire time, you've become so deconditioned that you're all worried that you're out of shape and that you're not gonna do the exercises, and maybe you gained a little bit of weight and you're kind of ashamed, but that's okay because nobody's judging you. Honestly, we've all been there. You think that you're the only person that's ever gained five pounds, lost five pounds, and then gained seven? Like, it's part of the process. And so when it comes to being busy, we have to understand that this is a part of the process, and you didn't fall behind, and that you're not lacking motivation. It's just time to get realigned, and you need to get more organized. What you should do is you should start using Google Calendar to start building out your day. Now it seems like, yes, this is a lot of work, RJ. I don't have time for that. But for most of you, you've done a belly burn challenge. At this point, we can't even focus on your nutrition. To me, nutrition is way harder than working out for most people. And so what we need to do is start pre-planning your day just like you did pre-plan your food in MyFitnessPal. So before you go to bed, for the day after, so if today's Sunday and you're planning for Monday, then what you need to do is punch in the things that you're gonna do from the time you wake up, the things you're gonna do, and you're gonna stick to that plan no matter what. Now here's the thing, you're gonna get distracted. And I understand, because as soon as I open my phone, there's 18 messages. A lot of times I'm looking to make sure that, that my team is doing the things that they need to do. Jerome is supposed to send a video every single morning for the virtual, and I'm looking. 7, 28, 29, where's Jerome's video? Sometimes it's not there. So then I get distracted, just like you. I get it, right? I'm just like you, I get distracted. Jerome, where's the video, right? Why are you not working? It's, I get it. So you and I are very much alike, right? We get distracted easily. So I'm gonna tell you, don't let those things distract you. Talk to your team after. Make sure that they don't do it again. No, I'm just kidding. This, Get realigned, stay in your own path because right now it's all focused on you and getting yourself focused. So stick to the path that you've designed. Now number two is that you need to set some goals. Yes, we have these grandioso goals that we set in January, but it's July now or it's August. Our goals changed. And we have to base our current goals on the lifestyle that we're living right now. So for instance, if it's summer or if it's Christmas, there's no way we're gonna be focusing on any type of weight loss goal unless you're really strict. There are people out there, and I know lots of members, like a lot of our members right now are still on it, okay? But I'm gonna tell you that the summertime and December are probably the two hardest seasons of the year where you're gonna be able to lose weight. So what you do is shift your focus. So instead of focusing on weight loss, maybe you can focus on how many workouts you're doing. And some of us, we might even just struggle to get three or four workouts in, and that's fine, okay? Because those three or four workouts are better than nothing. And so if we can make three or four workouts in person, we have to see that as a win. So what we wanna do is just set a 28 day goal. So your 28 day goal might be to hit 12 workouts, but normally you do 20 to 30, that's okay. Right now, it's a season where you can only get three to four workouts per week. So 12 workouts is perfectly, it's better than nothing. But I have an answer for you if you're a member, that if you are doing a lot of commuting, and you don't really have the time to take the 10 to 15 minutes it gets to the gym and drive home and the 30 minute workouts, you just don't have that hour, then plug in a virtual. Because of virtuals, we have a lot that don't have any weight. So if you don't have a weight, you don't have a great setup at home, and you got 20 minutes, the workout itself is between 20 and 23 minutes total. So if you can just crawl out of bed, <laughs> put on your runners, open up the virtuals, www.fitclub.fit slash on demand, plug in the code, turn on the most recent workout that says body weight and just get it done. I promise you if you do this for just this short period of time, the results that you're gonna see over the next 52 weeks are gonna be better than you ever thought that it would be. And number three is we're going back to this gatherings and we need to change 
the setting and scenario that we have with our friends. We don't always have to have a freaking snack table in front of us, guys. And we don't always have to have shots for birthdays. We can change it up. Why don't you plan something fun, like do a hike? The other day we went for a hike for somebody's birthday. It was amazing, we did four miles. Yeah, sure, we had ice cream, but at the end of it, it still felt like we were accomplished. It aligned with our values. We enjoyed the thing that we really enjoyed. And in the end, we felt good about it. So when it comes to being friends and creating events, why don't you go outside the box, do something unconventional. You're probably not gonna have everybody there, but the people that you wanna focus on long-term and where you are right now in your life are going to be there. Those other people, they can just join you for the ice cream. You get it? So you and your friends that are wanting to be fit and live healthy can go for the walk. You guys have the ice cream. Your friends could drive there or Uber there and then Uber home. Hey, no judgment there, but at least you took the step to draw you closer to where you're trying to live your life. So how do we get our motivation back? Number one, make sure you give the video a like, hit the subscribe button, start using your Google Calendar like you did my fitness pal, plug in your day to day, do this for 28 days. Number two, set that 28 day goal and make sure it's conducive with where you're at in your lifestyle right now. And number three, be the difference maker when it comes to your friends and the activities that you do because you could change the course of that friendship and make it a fit one, a healthy one, and ultimately you guys are going to grow together.